Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John, or Last Frontier Bricks, and welcome to episode 47 of this 100% playthrough of LEGO Marvel's Avengers. Holy smokes, it has been a while so oh, since I've done a video, and you all deserve an explanation. Well, you're going to get one. Long story short, uh, that cold I got over Thanksgiving decided to bump itself to 11, and just come completely drained me. Um, I just... It was everything. I had to cough, the sore throat, oh, the sneezing, the wor uh, the works. I, I had a temperature of 101. I even had it got so bad, I had to take a day off work. So, yeah. That cold just completely drained me so bad that this is the first day I actually feel like actually doing a video. But we are back, and today we are going to be doing the free play for Lack of Love Inside, the Winter Soldier level. So, let's go ahead and get started. I wonder why there are always stars here in Africa. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Ah, there we go. There's Bucky. Lack of Inside, free play. So, we've got to save Stan Lee. we got to get all three character tokens and seven mini kids. Quite a bit to work on. So, let's go ahead and get started. And, let's go ahead and... Go ahead, grab cap. Go ahead, grab cap. We're gonna probably get a game anyway, but why not? Project Insight is something Shield has been working on in secret for a while now. Basically, next generation helicarriers are linked together by satellites to detect and eliminate threats to world security before they even happen. Cool, huh? And dangerous. I shouldn't really be telling you all this in case anyone's listening and tries to sabotage the whole thing for their own evil schemes, but what are the odds of that? Uh, better than you might think, Hill. This is Agent Sharon Carter of S.H.I.E.L.D., Special Service. Well, not anymore, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. Captain Steve Rogers' morning exercise was interrupted by a mission to rescue hostages on one of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s mobile satellite launch ships. The crew had been captured by the extremely dangerous Georges Batroc, and it was up to Captain America to bring them home safe and sound. Unfortunately for Cap, his splashy entrance meant he'd literally missed the boat. He would need help from the all-around nice guy Brock Rumlow, along with his strike team, to ensure the rest of the mission would be nothing but smooth sailing. Well, here we go, guys. Well, I guess one of the nice things about uh, having to wait uh, this long to do this video is that I can talk about the new le the the new Marvel sets that have been revealed. Well, we start. Let's go ahead and start off with the with the three max. Uh, first off. Um, Let's go with the the most basic of them, Hulk. Uh, let's see. Uh, the I gotta admit the uh, the uh, the classic uh, green and purple certainly isn't uh, uh, going to go wrong. Oh, uh, actually, let's start off with the fact that they changed up the design. Uh, some of you may have noticed that the uh, that the mechs are now. Uh, uh, 15 bucks a pop instead of the classic 10. Although, uh, but admittedly, they probably have a good reason for that. Uh, you may have no. Uh, they changed up the design for the legs so that they, they used the uh, instead of the uh, the classic ball joints, they used the uh, they used the um, uh, the legs for the four, four plus Ninjago sets, or and the, the uh, and the uh, the four plus ATSC. So I guess uh, I guess uh, the the ball joints weren't doing it for the stability of the set. So I guess they changed up the design. Uh, which admittedly, um, like if if the if the legs were unstable enough that they needed to change up design, I'm okay with them uh, popping up the price. Like, admittedly, I don't know how how unstable the these sets are, because er, once I build them, they just I just put them on dis uh, on a display. But yeah, the the 
Anyway, uh, for the designs, like the the uh, the the Hulk's classic green and purple oh, look is definitely is definitely working for me here. And the fact that they use like a gir basically use a girder for Hulk's weapon, but you know. Really, it's, cer it's certainly something it, it, it he'd use. I mean, come on, on and in, in the Incredible Hulk movie, he used a gar he cut in half against this abomination. So it's, so it's, yeah, gar is definitely a weapon he'd use. Not to mention a way to show off his strength. And, okay, so, uh, yeah, he can just, it's something he can just, uh, pull, just pull, rip right out of the ground. Uh, the, uh, the rocket mag, uh, the, uh, again, and the classic uh, or orange and black design for him, and from from both the uh, uh, from both the uh, the comics and the Disney Guardians of the Galaxy show. Oh, definitely works, and and the fact that and even the fact that they use the uh, the six barrel the stud shooter isn't. Uh, isn't wrong. In fact, that uh, considering the fact that Lo Rocket loves his uh, weapons that would be considered oversized for him. Oh, and the fact that they use like, like a plant for his a brown plant for his tail it actually works pretty well. Uh, oh, if you take a look at the pictures, and then. Thanos, I mean, I mean, we've gotten a th set mech for him before, mech before, for him before, so it's not, uh, so not a whole lot new. So I think the best part, actually, is the fact that you get the gauntlet and all six Infinity Stones in one set for only 15 bucks. That's probably the cheapest we are ever going to get it. And the easiest way to get it, because until now, like, you got you either had well you either had the uh, the advent calendar which was only available for so long like I even wanted to get a hold of the advent calendar but didn't <laughs> the, the because of that because of that and that uh, or like you could go with the infinity war and game line and spend hundreds of bucks just to get just to get a, a hold of those guys Uh, then we got the uh, let's see, we got the Ghost Rider, we got the Ghost Rider mech and bike, which honestly I gotta admit looks pretty good. I personally I would rather uh, save my uh, save my money and just get the the Spider-Man set with Ghost Rider and Hobgoblin because well I already got Spider-Man because so no surprise there his sets with him got a dime a dozen nowadays, but I want to get both Ghost Rider and uh, but I want to get both Ghost Rider and. Uh, this is Maria Hill. Oh, okay. So that's how we do this. I want to get both Ghost Rider and Hobgoblin. So I'd be willing to. Uh, to. Spend the money to get. Uh, uh, spend the extra money to get that set. But I got. But again, I gotta admit. Uh, well, four stars. That. The the motorcycle that just looks awesome. Um, and it doesn't even look oversized for the Ghost Rider mech, which I gotta say, rather impressive. Uh, let's see. Then we got we got the Hulkbuster set. I'm, hey, it's it's a better alternative than that $500 UCS Hulkbuster. I mean, let's face it. They probably only built that. Because they thought they need the uh, the forty dollar er, buildable Iron Man needed a Hulkbuster, and let's all admit it, he didn't. And then, but yeah, like it's not like it's not like it's a better alternative to the these giant. Uh, and uh, Hulkbuster. I mean, on top of that, it's ten times cheaper. Like, it's only fifty bucks. It's only fifty bucks. I mean, but it's not like we need another Hulkbuster. Those harm hardly don't want to talk about getting not needing more Hulkbusters. I mean, come on. I've 
with the exception of the two UCS Hulkbusters and the Sakaran Iron Man. I've gotten all of them, admittedly, so I'll probably end up buying this one anyway. But again, it's not like we needed it. Yep. And it's but for those who like like who don't have a whole cluster, it's a it's actually a pretty good build. Plus you get Okoye and a couple more outrider couple of outriders, so a couple more for your outrider army. Although to be honest, uh having picked up all basically every set that has an outrider, I can I can uh, I, I can easily say, uh just get one of uh, each set uh, with an out that has an outrider and you got yourself a pretty good army already. But the one, the one set of that of this wave that is going to be an easy day one buy for me is the Quinjet. That's the kind of set we like we should have gotten this year. Or for a for uh, for a ten year anniversary he set. Uh, to for uh, for Marvel superheroes like the, the like the build of it is great like it's our first on top of that it's our first Infinity Saga set from Avengers one got me kind of surprised that uh, it's taken us this long to get an Infinity Saga set based off of the based off of the first Avengers movie. But anyway, that yeah, the build is a whole lot better uh, for that set. is a whole lot better than what uh, than the, the, the Quinjet from that uh, initial Avengers wave. If the fi uh, the figure selection is great, the figures themselves look good too. Uh, look good too. Uh, oh, like the cap uh, uh, the the uh, the Avengers Captain America first time uh, the. Uh, the uh, the Avengers uh, or, or is Black Widow like the the Loki looks great, especially considering that they finally added at the uh, the muzzle from the end of the movie. He had the Iron Man and Thor good looking as well. Although I think the Thor is the same figure we got with the uh, Thor's hammer. I wouldn't know. Uh, though I'm not completely sure. I didn't get. Uh, that's what I once said. I haven't been able to get a hold of. of um. But yeah, the figures look great. The bill is great. Uh, they even add, like they even added a uh, a stand, and for the Quinjet, which is something like which is something like you hardly you you barely uh you, you barely you most of the times you don't even get that with the Star Wars sets. And people have been wanting stands for their Star Wars sets for you uh, for for their Star Wars ships for years, but. Normally, you only uh, normally you only don't only get them with the uh, with the with the the UCS sets, but they finally did. Yeah, and on top of that, like uh, like they uh, they added uh, stickers uh, uh, so, so you can make it both an Avengers Quinjet or a Shield Quinjet. Although. Although it might just be six to stickers, so like for those of you who like want to easily switch it, who want to be able to easily switch them out, that might not be such a good thing if it's just stickers. There's so who's a so uh, like you might need to get extra pieces if you want to like have pieces ready for if you want to be able to immediately switch to. Uh, from uh, Avengers to Shield, but the fact that they added the stick stickers so you could, so you could, so the uh, so the customization is there is a good is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. I just think they probably could, have, like, but I'm just saying that if uh, if they didn't, if they just made it uh, just the stickers. Probably they probably should have gone with the full pieces. I mean, come on, they did that with uh, the the uh, the ninety dollar X wing, and this uh, guy is the uh, ten bucks more expensive. 
but but yeah, that Quinjet, uh, if if at all possible, that Quinjet is going to be a day one buy for me. So anyway, we've so yeah, that's my take on the uh, the the. Uh, the uh, the new the new Marvel sets. Most of them are pretty de like most of them are decent. We got, got a couple really good ones. And but I think the only like day one buy for me is going to be that Quinjet. But anyway, I might as well get to the level. We've we now are up to eight mini kits. Wow, I guess most of the mini kits we needed. The data are uh, was in this area, but hey, what we also got the uh, the figure from, or the the, uh, the character token from this part of the level. That was Batrock. Let's see what the uh, My have the collector wants. Somewhere on this ship are some hidden Hydra artifacts. One item in particular that I am interested in is Arnim Zola's glasses. The man was inherently evil, but he did have some style. Retrieve the glasses for me, and I will trade you an item for my less rare collection. So, he wants Zola's glasses. Huh, I wonder where we can find those. Oh, uh, those glasses are part of his Hydra collection. No, like uh, the uh, Red Skull mask was from First Avenger. Okay, so we don't want to go in there just yet. I guess that will end this section of the level. Oops. Oops. Hey, where's my other character? Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, so, where are we supposed to find these glasses? Hmm. Huh, kinda thought it would be like, whoop, on the, uh, the helipad. But apparently we can't fly that high. Let's see. Uh. All this work to find a pair of glasses. Why do I have a funny feeling we already took care of all we needed to take care of this set, so those glasses? We just don't know it yet. That's what I get for not paying attention to what I'm doing while I'm chatting about Lego sets. Like, what haven't we destroyed that we can destroy? I mean, usually, like, in the levels, like, what you're looking for is right there by the collector.
So let's go ahead and double check right by the collector. Like maybe there. Um, back here was a mini kit. Yeah, like they usually like what he's looking for is usually right around here. It's usually right around him. So kind of wondering where they are. And like I said, we can't go. We can't open the door yet. That's where. That's where you exit the level. Unless. Oh, it's not like that looks like like on the dome that looks like something you can destroy but but I can't target it okay so yeah what's uh us no, can't go back there. I can't go back there. So yeah, why are the glasses? Hey, hold up. Can I uh Okay, so I guess the uh I was gonna say maybe uh See if I have like the red brick detector, but apparently not. But then again, I don't even know how the red brick detector would work. Would that be like, would it actually lead me to what I need for the red brick, or just, or would it just lead me to the collector? I don't suppose collector is gonna give me any hints on what I'm supposed to do to get those glasses. Huh. This one's a head snumper, I'll give it that. It's not that it's not up there. Uh, it's not on top of the bridge. Collector, are you sending me on a wild goose chase? Cause I'm feeling like you sent me on a wild goose chase. Glasses aren't on the boats. Not on the computer. Well, he didn't have them. Oh, and, uh... While we're here, speaking of Infinity Saga sets, I'm surprised they haven't done this one as one because this would be a great one. Like, we haven't let we haven't like gone like a a Marvel set with a boat. So, uh, so this would be a nice change. Like, you could you could probably pull this off with like eight minifigures, like Cap, Black Widow, uh, Rumlow, a Strike Agent, uh, Patrick, uh a couple of goons and maybe sit well I think that'd be a good a good good lineup for uh, for the set it's, you could oh wait 
Oh, okay. Now, I thought uh, I saw something glow and I was like, wait, were those the glasses? And like, I saw the like the one by like the one by two, like right there or right, right in front of me. But no, it's just the controls for the uh, for the uh, the game plank. But man, eh, I don't know where these glasses are. Shoot. Not good. Not good. Cause like around here was where the Matchock character token was, so it's not like Yeah, it's it's like this is like the only thing left to do like the only thing we can do oh here is open the door. Unless Wait, hold on. We don't like we don't have to immediately go in, do we? Where's uh Rumlo? Rumlo. There we go. Glasses? Oh! Totally overthought that. I thought it might have something to do with that area. I just didn't know how to access it. So that's why I wanted the glasses. He needs them. <laughs> kind of embarrassing when you think about it. But, uh, well, he does look like he's getting up there. Okay, now we can go. Captain America had defeated Batroc and rescued the hostages but was surprised to discover Black Widow going against orders by retrieving data from the ship's computer. Rogers demanded an explanation from Director Fury and was told about Project Insight, a plan to supposedly protect the world by connecting three helicarriers together. Disliking the idea because it would mean living in a world controlled by fear, Cap soon found himself on the run with Black Widow and his new friend, the Falcon. Together, they learned that high-ranking World Security Council member Alexander Pierce had turned his back on Fury and was going to use Project Insight to allow Hydra to rule the world. Oh, and then they ran into the Winter Soldier. Well, yeah, that's the bridge version. Okay, so, basi so basically what I was saying with the, uh... the Lemurian stars, I said, I'm, su I'm still surprised that when it comes to sets that they didn't, uh, that they d haven't done with Infinity Saga, that uh, I'm surprised the Winter Soldier isn't one of them. Considering, you know, like, apparent, like, the fact that a lot of people, like, when they make lists of the Marvel movies from worst to best, uh, Winter Soldier tends to top that list. So, yeah, it's kind of a shame that LEGO hasn't made any sets off of it yet. Admittedly, like, I didn't know back, like, back in the day, like, LEGO was limited to how many move, how many movies they could make sets off of. Like, for example, like, for example, they could, like, instead of doing sets for Winter Soldier, they put their money on Guardians of the Galaxy. Admittedly, probably a, uh... Probably a good move, like, like uh, that one uh, Guardians won turned a whole team of nobodies into household names practically overnight. But still, it did rob LEGO the chance of being able to make sets off of one of the best Marvel movies out there. Run. 
So yeah, I kind of surprised Lego hasn't taken the advantage of being able to make sets off of Winter Soldier now that they can do without that with the Infinity Saga way they can basically make sets off of anything. Oh hey, hey Stan, didn't know you were up there. All right, so let's go ahead and use the save point. Hey Hawkeye, whoops, there we go. Hey, that looks like our character token. Who is it though? Oh, it's the Winter Soldier, nice. Figure I'm happy to say is in my physical collection. I mean, so yeah, so yeah, kind of surprised that when it comes to uh, movies, they weren't able to make sets off of that they've started making sets off of because Infinity Saga the only one they've done is uh, the uh, the Iron Monger from Iron Man 1 like Lego you've got you've got the entire MCU ooh, at your door uh, you've got the entire Infinity Saga line of, you know, movies to make sets off of how come you how come you've got your how come you've got your Foot on the brakes. Go ham. Anyway, yeah. And that little rant right we'll go ahead and end that little rant right there. I think I got my point across. Well, technically, well, no, they the technically not. They uh, uh, now, now with the uh, the Thor hammer, you could say they have done a Thor set, like they did, like they did the little mini build inside the Thor's hammer with like the uh, the fake Infinity Gauntlet, the, the Eternal Flame, and and stuff like that. So you could call that a Thor set, but but still. Where's our Winter Soldier set? We need one. I mean, I mean, hey, hey, hey you can make it. You, I mean, come on, you could turn this scene into a set, like. Uh, like, uh, like two vehicles, Cap, Black Widow. You could get our fur, our a Winter Soldier Falcon in there, and then you got. Uh, and then you get uh, get uh, uh, Winter Soldier and two goons and, and a couple of goons. They, boom! You got yourself a set, a good thirty, forty dollar set right there. And I can practically guarantee you, people would buy it. But yeah, come on, Lego. Stop. Stop this. Uh, stop uh, uh, having your foot in the brake and start dishing out, uh, out some sets from, so based off of movies you didn't make sets off of. Anyway, rank complete. Again. Ugh, come on, guys, back off.
Come on. There we go. That takes care. That takes care of that guy. Look out. Oh right, I forgot he uh he teleports. That was Gordon from Agents of Shield. All right, let's see. Cap on there. There's Black Widow. Hey, come on. Out of way. I mean, we can't go with this if we want to, but we do have Hawkeye on the team now, so we can just do this. Bye. As the fighting continued, the identity of the Winter Soldier was dramatically revealed. It was Steve's oldest friend, James Buchanan Barnes. As a result of Arnim Zola's experiments, Bucky had survived his fall from the train and had been brainwashed to serve Hydra. After escaping from Brock Rumlow's strike team, Cap and his friends reunited with Maria Hill and Nick Fury to come up with a plan to stop Project Insight. Their only hope was to reprogram the helicarriers so they would destroy each other, ending Hydra's evil schemes. After many grueling battles, Cap and the Falcon approached the final helicarrier console, but found the Winter Soldier standing in their way. Alright, so we got two mini kits and one character token to get. Question is, where are they? And, and who's the character? Alright, so let's go ahead and use the save point. Huh, I wonder I wonder who the character token is. Let's see. We've already got Rumlow. Oh, he, well, we got him just playing the level. Maybe Alexander Pierce? Hey, maybe it's uh, a dark maybe it's the uh, the old Peggy. What we got here? A little something for vision. Wait. Wait, do we? Oh, it's oh, Bobby Gordon. Yeah, yeah. Because he's, he's a teleporter. So, is that character token or is that one of the two mini kits? Alright. Let's find out. Okay. What we got here? Mini kit. All right, that's number nine. What about the comics gonna be? Probably, probably a when I first soldier themed one. Be disappointed if it wasn't. Let's see. Ugh. Uh, 
Uh, let's, uh... Yeah, let's switch to Falcon. Let's see if, uh... The mini kits or... Character tokens are around here. Oh, he switched to Ultron. I was like, how'd he get up here? Oh, that's probably out. So, they weren't up. Maybe down? Can we even go that uh, that far yet? Nope, not yet. Hey, where'd Bucky go? Okay, here we go. I mean, technically, shouldn't that be like the classic Captain America costume? They say that's the one he wore in the movie. And was that an Age of Ultron Quinjet flying around out there? That's definitely out of place. Out of way. That unlocks that. Still have no idea where that last main indicator you know, character token are. Oh look, you can see one of the Hellcares out there. And it looks like the UCS model. Something I'm happy to say is in my collection, first UCS set I ever owned. Basically <laughs> I actually got that with my first paycheck, with my first job. Basically, it took the entire paycheck, but uh, definitely worth the money. Not going to regret ever get, I haven't got that ever. There we go. Go. All right, Cap. Oh, hello, Bucky. Look out. Let's see. Come on. Well, uh, they're busy with that.
Well, I was going to say I was going to use that scan area. Probably guess one of our either the medicate or character token. One, two, number three was there, and then back over here for three, uh, four. Ah, mitigate. We can see the parts. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, where's the character token? Aha, Wanda. Whoops. Oh, come on. Come on, Sam. Ah, uh, why get up, up. Oh, fine. You want to fight? I'll give you a fight. Okay, now, there we go. Switch to low key. Right? Come on, come on, low key. You got, you got those powers. There we go. Come on. There we go. There's a character token. Who is it? Where is it? Oh, it's Classic Falcon. Okay, I can go. I can run with that. Okay, let's switch to... Where's Falcon? There he is. Might as well finish up with the, the, with the dynamic duo. We can actually hit anything. There we go. Soldier concluded their epic battle when Cap decided he didn't want to hurt his friend and refused to fight back. Project Insight was stopped when the helicarriers were brought down, but in the process, the entire S.H.I.E.L.D. organization was also completely destroyed. Sure didn't see that one coming. Oh, but it's okay. I got a new job. I knew you were worried about me. Captain America and the Falcon fell from the helicarrier into the water, but were saved by Bucky. Maybe there's hope for him after all? You're probably wondering how I know all this. Well, let's just say I live next to Steve, and I'm kind of a nosy neighbor. Do you want me to write this down? Actually, to be honest, uh, her saying, uh, I know you're worried about me, it can't help me help... I can't help but to remember that, uh, that meme that they made when they found... when they added Sharon to the care to the character roster, they pulled the line from, uh, Quill said to hit that girlfriend of his at the beginning of Guardian Swan and she said I'm gonna be completely honest with you I forgot you were here anyway uh, we did get all three character tokens Spatchock, Classic Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, our stud total is now 6,306,000 studs we did get the red brick we'll find out what that is at the end we did no save Stan Lee. Thanks, true believers. And let's see what the mini-kit is. Well, what the what the comic book cover is. How's it look? Nice! I know that comic cover. 
That's actually from the Winter, Sol the Winter Soldier comic. And our gold brick total is now 231. Oh, hey, speaking of Bucky. I'd be there to help out, but I'm pretty busy recording videos of myself lip syncing popular songs for research. Apparently, he hasn't started that YouTube channel yet. Anyway, let's see what that red brick was. Extras. Let's see. What one did we already have? We all have we got stats. We got stuff in fours. Six, eight, and ten. Guys is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I think that was the character token detector we unlocked. Nice. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Uh, thank you for joining me for it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Ring the bell to be notified of all videos as soon as they become available. Check out my channel and the entire LEGO Marvel Avengers playthrough playlist on the end screen in just a few seconds. And I'll see you all in the next video where we will begin, uh, where we will do the level that began the entire game. Aim, aim with the beginning of Age of Ultron. Later, everybody.